D is the son of P. P is the daughter of M. S is married to M. R and H are children of S. W is the husband of H. K is the son of W. If M does not have any son, then how is R related to D? So a question from blood relations. Let's just take it up. So D is the son of P. Draw the family tree, right? D is the son of P. D is the son of P. So D is a male child of P. P is the daughter of M. P is the daughter of M meaning P is a female child of M. So D is the son of P. P is the daughter of M. S is married to M. S is married to M. So basically S and M is a married couple. Of course, we are not sure about whose husband and whose wife here, right? M is married to S. M can be husband with S being the wife or vice versa. R and H are children of S. R and H are children of S. R and H are children of S meaning R and H are children of M. Which means R and H are siblings of P. Right? R and H both are siblings of P. So P, R, H all three are children of M and S. W is the husband of H. W is the husband of H. So W and H is a husband and wife couple. And W is the husband. So obviously H is the wife. Yeah, W is the husband of H. K is the son of W. K is the son of W. So K is the son of W. If M does not have any son, if M does not have any son, now this, this point is important. M does not have any son. See, M has got three children. Right? M has got three children. P, R and H. And has got no son. M has got no son. We already know that P and H are daughters. The only question was about the gender of R. Is R the son of M or daughter of M? But now that it is given that M is not having any son, M does not have any son, we can conclude that R is the daughter of M. Then how is R related to D? How is R related to D? How is R related to D? Very simple. D's mother's sister. Your mother's sister is your aunt. D's mother is P. P's sister is R. So your mother's sister. Mother's sister is aunt. So R is the aunt of D. R is the aunt of D. Option 4 is the answer. Uh, use the relationships defined below to solve these questions. So it looks like this is a multiple uh, you know, marks question, like four or five marks question or at least three marks question. But we have been given only one of those three or five questions. So what does it say? A, you know, these brackets B means B is the mother of A. A of B means B is the father of A. A division B means B is the sister of A. A into B means B is the brother of A and so on. A plus B means B is the daughter of A. A minus B means B is the son of A. So I think one interesting point is always the relationship is in the reverse direction like usually it is a to b right here it is b to a b is the mother of a b is the father of a b is the sister of a b is the brother of a b is the daughter of a b is the son of a so very i mean clear actually that always go in the reverse direction the problem comes when sometimes it says a to b and other times it says b to a then you have to be very careful but here it's all clear so we have been given different symbols and the meanings of each of these symbols okay now read it if s into j plus t is given then which of the following is true? So S into J plus T. S into J plus T. Into means what? Into means brother. So J is the brother of S. J is the brother of S. J is the brother of S. Yeah. And J plus T. Plus means plus means daughter. So T is the uh, daughter of J. T is the daughter of J. T is the daughter of J. That's it. Only three persons. It doesn't take any time to draw a family diagram here. So J is the brother of S. And T is the daughter of J. Then which of the following is true? T is the aunt of S? No. T is the niece of S? Yes, T is the niece of S. See, T is father's brother. Oh, sorry, T is father's sibling. It could be brother or sister. We don't know. The gender is not known to us. But anyway, the relationship is with respect to T, right? So, it's like S's brother's daughter. Your brother's daughter. Your brother's daughter is your niece. So, I can say T is the niece of S. T is the niece of S. S is the uncle of T? No. This is doubtful. See, S is uncle or aunt. Both are possible. It depends on the gender of S. Which is not known to us. You are getting me? So S is the uncle of T cannot be true. S can be uncle or can be aunt. Yeah. Uh, S is the brother of G also. Cannot be true. I mean it's a question mark. S can be brother or sister. Both are possible. Yes or no? S can be brother or sister. So if you have marked option 4 as the answer then you are wrong. Because what we know is J is the brother of S. J is the brother of S does not mean that S is the brother of J. S can be brother or sister. Many students commit mistake in such kind of cases right like like usually if i say a is the father of b the immediate reaction is b is the son of a it need not be b can be son or daughter what is definite is b is the child of a but is b a male child or female child is not known to similarly is uh, you know s the male sibling or female sibling is not known to gender is not known right so how will you comment on this so s is the brother of j not known and i think option 5 also is same which is probably a error here s is the brother of j s is the brother of j anyway this also is wrong so the answer is option 2 t is the 
means of S. 